Hey everybody, Mr. Regan here, and we're gonna begin our lab where we explore how does the strength of a force affects, affect its velocity. And if you remember, we have our independent variable, which is going to be the strength of our force. We have three different strengths, strength one, strength two, and strength three. We are gonna be uh, observing the dependent variable or the change of velocity we have with our jar lid at the three different strengths. So that would be our dependent variable. And then we're gonna have our control variables, the things we keep the same. So how we measure, which will be our meter stick, okay? How uh, smooth the table is, we're gonna keep the table the same throughout the lab. And then obviously we're gonna use the same spring throughout our entire test and the size of the lid obviously as well, hopefully to get some good results. So let's go ahead and begin the lab. We're gonna start by looking at how our velocity changes at force one and how it travels across our meter stick. So this is going to be force one. Okay, takes about three strikes to get it the length of our meter stick, which is about 25 centimeters. Now we have strength number two. Okay, takes a little over one, almost two full strikes to get it the length of our lap. And then we have our third and final one. Whoops, that was my mistake. Let's try that again. There we go. Takes about one strike from the spring to move it across the meter stick, okay? So force one, okay, takes about two. Here's force two. Two as well. That time force three, okay? We'll do one more trial to see our final results. Force one, force two, whoops. And now we have force three coming up. Force three. So those are our three trials using the three different forces, forces one, two, and three. If you have questions, reach out to me. Otherwise, good luck with the remaining parts of the lab.